Does the tank still have a role on the modern battlefield? Slow and vulnerable to air power and guided missiles, armored vehicles are sometimes dubbed metal coffins by soldiers. But what if you could take the soldier out of the tank? Robotic combat vehicle. So they need to also understand that the first line of attack will probably not be a human line. It will probably be uh, autonomous systems which are drived according to those specific rules of engagement and, uh, and autonomous mission control that we will give them. Autonomous armored vehicles were a hot topic at this year's International Armored Vehicle Symposium in London. How important is man or machine on the modern battlefield? And Israeli defense giant Raphael is in on the action, revealing Israel's first vehicle-based artificial intelligence. In the last uh, vehicle that we developed, uh, we had uh, three uh, crew members, two human crew members and one uh, 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 robotic crew member. And we figure out when we test the vehicle that as more as the situation is chaotic and, uh, and complicated, most of the tasks are being handled by the autonomous robot and not by the human beings. Raphael's advanced vehicular integrated combat system is a fusion of battlefield sensors and automated systems that can react faster than human beings. It integrates a vehicle's defense and weapons and can take over combat tasks that are delegated to it. Younger soldiers today are much more used to uh, video gaming and uh, you know other attributes and they are very, very oriented to already work with systems. So when they sat down and the, the situation started getting more complicated, they just gave more commands to the system. Do this and this and this and this for me. It's the latest in a battlefield trend. More automation, fewer people in the line of fire. While a human being still makes the decision to fire and selects the target, the idea is to have fewer people inside the tanks until they can be replaced entirely. I uh, spent uh, 30, year, uh, 30 years myself as a tanker. I am a former chief of farmer of the IDF. And I know exactly how I wished for many situations to have those capabilities. And in a world where air power and scouting has largely been delegated to drones, the steel behemoths of the last century are set to follow too.